Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while, but today I'm going to be teaching you how to play the game chess. So um, this is the chess board I'm going to be using for this specific video. So as you can see, it's an eight by eight chess board with 64 pieces on the entire thing. And as you can see over here, we got all these pieces. Some of them are black pieces. Some of them are white pieces, as you can see. Um, so what you have to do, you have to place the pieces in the correct order. You can't place them yourself. You have to place them in a specific way. There's 16 uh, pieces per team, black or white. Whoever defeats the other team's king first, wins so first i'm gonna be telling you the movement of these pieces okay uh starting off we have the pawn it's normally placed over here but we're gonna talk about that later it can move one space normally however on its very first turn it can move two spaces it can only move forward except of when it's cutting other things so like in this situation let's just say this pawn moved two spaces this pawn moved two spaces and now what you can do is that you can capture diagonally putting your piece on the square and cutting the other piece now this piece is eliminated from the board it probably will never be used again also if you're uh, wondering the pawn cannot attack forwards it can only attack diagonally and after the first turn you can only move one space forward until you move to the last square of the board where you turn into one of the most powerful pieces the queen this is how it looks how does the queen move well, basically, it moves. Now, just, just this is a lot to explain, but uh, it moves infinite spaces forward and backward, infinite spaces diagonally, infinite spaces horizontally. So, yeah, it's really strong. Okay, so once you promote, uh, once you put your pawn over here, it'll. it'll Promote to a queen. So yeah. Let me talk about another piece. And the piece we're going to be talking about now is the bishop. The bishop moves infinitely diagonally. But it can well not move in any other manner. It does not have any special cutting system. It just cuts like it normally moves. So yeah. However, the bishop is still quite a powerful piece. Let's move on to the knight as you can see here the knight moves in an l shape two spaces forward backward or to both of the sides it moves two spaces and then moves either left or right if that's too much to uh, understand it just moves like this like this Backwards as well, it can also move like this, and this. So it moves in an L shape. Let's move on to the Rook. This is what the Rook looks like. It can move infinite spaces forward, backward, and to the sides. However, it can not move any other way, and it captures like a you know like a regular piece then you have the king now uh you may be surprised by this if you've not seen chess before but the king can only move one space in any direction yeah just just one space however it can move in any direction and it can capture any way as long as it's in its range however the king is the most powerful piece because if you lose the king you lose the game. Now let me show you how these pieces are placed on the board. Let's start off with putting black pieces. So the pawns come in this like 
kind of line as you can see over here this entire line will just be filled with pawns so i'm just gonna place down every single pawn over here according to the line and as you can see every pawn is put in this line now what we can do we put the rooks on the sides like this rooks on the sides we put the knights behind the rooks like this then we put the bishops after that now as you can see these little letters over here put the king on e and put the queen on d now just do the same thing but for the other side also you want to make sure the position of these cannot change the pawns have to be on the second row these have to be in the exact configuration as i'm telling you right now if you're playing like real regular chess So, you just place every single pawn in this configuration, just a little straight line. Then we place our rooks on the sides. Knights near the sides. Bishops here. King on the E and Queen on the D. We have successfully made our board. You can take a screenshot right now or something if you like. This is the entire board configuration. You can be playing two players like this is black, this is white. Also one thing, white always plays first in chess for some reason. So yeah, you can just start playing. Like move this, move this, uh, this. Also, by the way, the opening that I'm showing you, yeah, openings, they're basically just like, you know, you know, openings, it's the start of the game, popular starts of chess games. This is actually quite a popular one, not too popular, but starting, starting like this, the king's pawn two spaces and the enemy also does king's pawn two spaces. This is a really common opening. A gambit is when the teams sacrifice material to achieve a higher purpose. Like something really high purpose. This isn't very high purpose right now, but still, that's what a gambit is, basically. So, uh, yeah, you've pretty much got the rules of chess. And this is why the pawn promotes to a queen at the end of the board. It's actually pretty hard when you have all of these pieces over here. A chess rule that not many people use. If a pawn goes two spaces and the enemy's pawn goes also two spaces, for this move and this move only, you can do a secret move called en passant, where you can go behind the pawn and capture this. It's pretty neat. So yeah, that's pretty much how to play chess. Also, um, the thing is that normally to win a chess game, you can't just check the king once because it'll just move away and yeah, it just turns into an infinite cycle. Generally, what you have to do is that you have to do like a double check to make it actually work. You need to do multiple checks to put a real checkmate threat. So yeah, need to do a lot of threats over here. So yeah, basically, need to do a lot of threats to the king to capture the king. After the king's capture, you win the game. As simple as that. 